Tormund and Beric arrive at last hearth, accompanied by a group of surviving Brotherhood members and free folk. Investigating the castle, they find signs of a massacre but no corpses. Hearing a strange noise, they jump to attack, but stop after realizing they are Night's Watch members, led by acting Lord Commander Edison Tollett. Ed mistakes Tormund for a white because of blue his eyes, to which Tormund retorts they've always been blue. Coming to their senses, the group investigates deeper into the castle, discovering the body of Ned Umber pinned to a wall and surrounded by limbs arranged in a spiral pattern, which Beric says is a message from the Night King. Tormund, Beric and Ed then discuss their next move, with Tormund agreeing that if they combine horses, they can reach Winterfell in time to warn Jon. Suddenly, Ned, having risen as a white raises a dagger to strike, but Beric quickly stabs him, igniting him with his flaming sword and setting both the boy and Spiral on fire. Some time later, Tormund, Beric, and Ed arrive at Winterfell. He joyfully greets Jon and tells him that the dead have already reached last half, and that whoever is still north of Winterfell must already be dead. When Jon asks how long they'll have, Tormund claims that the dead will arrive before the sun comes up tomorrow. Tormund later attends a war meeting at Winterfell, in which he states that while everyone is going to die, they will at least die together. That evening, Tormund storms into a sit together with Tyrion, Jaime, Davos, Brienne, and Podrick. He flirtatiously greets Brienne, telling her that it might be their last night together. He later addresses Jaime as, King Killer, and afterwards tells the story on how he came to be known as, Giant Spain. He claims he slew a giant at the age of ten and crept into his wife's bed. As she woke, she suckled Tormund at her teat for three months, mistaking him for her baby, which is the reason why Tormund is so strong. Everyone looks at him in stunned silence at such a story, with Davos going for a drink, having refused one earlier. Tormund is later puzzled upon learning that Brienne was never officially knighted, and states he would knight her, ten times over, for her bravery. After witnessing Brienne's knighting by Jamie, he celebrates her achievement with the others, only to be interrupted by three horn blasts, heralding the arrival of the White Walkers. Tormund fights in the Battle of Winterfell, assisting with the defense of Winterfell. After Arya kills the Night King, all the Whites disintegrate, leaving the living victorious. However, the battle resulted in heavy casualties, claiming the lives of Jorah and Lyanna Mormont, Beric Dondarrion, Theon Greyjoy, and thousands of others. Tormund survived, along with Tyrion and Jaime Lannister, Arya and Sansa Stark, Sandor Clegane, Jon Snow, Daenerys Targaryen, and an untold number of other soldiers. The morning after the battle, Tormund is present when Jon delivers his eulogy to the Fallen. At the victory feast that evening, Tormund witnesses Gendry's legitimization and praises Jon for his heroism. As Tormund praises Jon for his heroism, he unintentionally feeds into Daenerys' ongoing paranoia regarding Jon's better claim to the throne causing her to storm out of the celebrations. After being rejected by Brienne once again, Tormund invites Sandor to join him with two northern prostitutes, thought the Hound gruffly refuses. The next morning, Tormund decides to return north of the Wall with the other free folk, despite being invited to stay in Westeros. Jon allows Tormund to take Ghost with him, stating a direwolf has no place in the south, to which Tormund replies that Jon would be happier with the wildlings. The two bid farewell and he watches Jon depart for King's Landing. Later, following the Battle of King's Landing and Jon's subsequent exile to the Night's Watch, Tormund and Ghost greet Jon upon his arrival to Castle Black. Together, they leave with the wildlings for lands beyond the wall.